Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to the seventh annual Soldering On Awards. I am delighted to announce that the winner of the Business Enterprise Award is X Forces. It's nice to be recognised tonight for X Forces, but X Forces has 860 other X Forces businesses, and it's them. It's their night, as well as the night for, for the team that supported them. Cassidy, isn't it fantastic to see so many people here this Yeah, year? it's beautiful. We've always been a, a big, um, I suppose, a big fan uh, of the armed forces and all that they do. I mean, we're a civilian business, very much, uh, but that's only possible in a safe and secure environment, and that's absolutely created by our armed forces here in this country. The winner of the Healthcare and Rehabilitation Award is Mr Ash Clare. So, boys and girls, Thank you ever so much for letting me have the best experiences in the world. I'm proud to be here representing Ash tonight, and I'm so proud of what he's achieved um, since then. There are so many uniforms here this evening, and I have to say I love the guys that are in the kilts. They've got better legs than I have, so it's great to see that. <laughs> the Sporting Excellence Award for the individual goes to Mr Owen Pick. Really, really cool. Really, really an absolute honour. The next goal, the next big, big goal is going to be the Paralympics 2018. I dreamed a dream in time gone by. It is my enormous pleasure to uh, announce the team winners as Blesma, Road to Recovery Team. The message that we're trying to send is that there is a life beyond injury. They'll be really chuffed. The team will, the team will love the fact that we won this. They, uh, they work really hard and they deserve it, I believe. The more we highlight these incredible things that you guys do, okay, the more that the nation is going to remember. The Soldiering On Awards represent the past, the present, and the future. The Family Values Award this evening goes to Joseph and Margaret Clayton. We've always wanted grandchildren, and when we got them, we just wanted to do everything we could for them. A lot of people that do the same should get the award. We've never been to anything like this before. Yeah. The House of Lords, we've never been to anything like that before. Because people like us don't get to places like this. Got <laughs> words to kind of tell you how proud we are of her. Honest, front and. Because we absolutely love her to death. Yeah. Really do. <laughs> it's a huge privilege to be able to announce the winner of the Outstanding Contribution Award, Mr. Simon Weston, CBA. Um, I feel very privileged been involved in it for 35 years and it's the first time I've been given anything in this way so yeah thank you very much. It's unbelievable that the, just the bravery and the determination the resilience that we're seeing on stage and I and I'm I, I'm, I'm out of improv like I'm, I'm just in awe right now genuinely just I'm, my jaws dropped. The winner of the inspiration award is Mr Adam Francis. It's massively humbling continuously pushed myself to achieve sort of what I'm told I can't do. I was told I wouldn't go back to driving lorries, so I've pursued that and I've managed to do that. I was told I'd never ride a motorbike and I commute to and fro work on a motorbike, so and I've always managed to keep this, this on my face all through it. For people to see me as an, an inspiration and, and to nominate me, let alone to win an award, it's just incredibly humbling. And the winner of the Working Together Award is the Forces Friends Project. Amazing, just amazing, <laughs> absolutely amazing. Very strange, yes. The, the heart of this project is transforming the lives of elderly veterans across the county and I think it's just an outstanding project. To work with the volunteers who give up their time. Absolutely. Because yeah. they are absolutely magnificent and an inspiration to us all. Yeah, fantastic. The winner of the International Award, Project Gemini. We never for one moment thought that uh, would be chosen, but it's a fantastic honour. The idea of the project was to bring together blinded veterans and, and just to see uh, a blind veteran who comes to the project at the start of the week and see him at the end of the week uh, in, in the changes in, in their self-esteem and in their confidence is just fantastic. And to me, that, that's the beauty of the project. It's just been an amazing experience in my thrill of bits. I'm delighted to announce that the winner of the Animal Partnership Award is... Jock Hutchison and Horseback UK. Thank you to my team, to everybody that supported Horseback UK. Thank you to all the people 
that over the last decade have contributed to making a difference to people's lives. We use horsemanship to try to help people regain confidence and self-esteem that's been ripped from them during lengthy recoveries. A lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, a lot of dark days, and this maybe is the recognition that they deserve for all the effort that they've made to make horseback successful. The Sunday Express People's Cho Choice Award winner is Simon Brown. It's a public vote, you know, it's what people think of what the work you've done. And for people to think the work I've done has been worthwhile kind of validates the effort I've put in over the last 10 years. The 2017 Trustee Special Award goes to the Taylor family. It's absolutely awesome, we wasn't expecting it at all. For pretty much 10 years now, we've just cracked on with poppy pill work. We're just, oh, we're so shocked, it's awesome. They've given everything in service for their country. The least we can do is make sure they're appreciated. But the winner of the Lifetime Achievement Award is Meg Atkinson. It's a great privilege. I, I'm the first script reader to receive this. I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled. Absolutely thrilled. Congratulations once again to all the finalists who are here. As we said, everyone in effect is a winner for having got this far. You've all done tremendously. You are inspirational. We salute you all. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2017 Soldiering on Award winners, please congratulate them with me and celebrate their great achievements. Ladies and gentlemen.